1967 in New York City. Where do you want to grow up one day to perform? Carnegie Hall. The Mohegan Sun Arena <laughs> for 20 years. <laughs> now, all right, we said it before, say it one more time. Carnegie oh. Hall. So, the year was 1973. <laughs> Cotton Hall, in desperate financial trouble, turns to rock and roll, and who should be invited to perform? At the fabled, the legendary Carnegie Hall, but my own group? Shanana. So there we are. Shanana. On stage. At Carnegie. And in the third row of the audience was the only person standing in the entire audience of Carnegie Hall! Yeah, my, my mother! <laughs> Bessie Bowman, the woman who forced me to practice! And she stood proudly in Carnegie Hall while her son sang Rabba Lama Ding Dong! <laughs> and she waved and she shouted, Jonathan! That's my real name. Jonathan, you made it! Because <laughs> it turned out to your mother, whether it was Chopin or Ramalama Ding Dong, <laughs> Carnegie Hall was Carnegie Hall! <laughs> and that's a completely 100% every single word of a true story. When the show was over, she went out to the merchandising table and started signing autographs, Bowser's mother. <laughs> so in her honor, I'm going to play for you one of my mother's favorite melodies. I'm going to attempt Claire de Lune by some French guy, Debussy. That's the hardest thing I have to do in this show, let me tell you. Um, I hope, I hope, I hope. Thank you so much. Thanks for enduring my piano playing for 20 years. I love doing it here. I love doing it here. And many of you know, 
that uh, I was very happy in